with some basic concepts about chromosomes. So first we will learn what is the difference between chromatids and chromosomes. So first of all, what we can see here is this is a centromere. Okay, what is a centromere? A centromere holds two chromatids together. So what is a chromatid? We can get an idea of these two filaments. You can see this one and uh, also this one. These are called as the uh, chromatids. Now, these two chromatids are held with one centromere. Here also we can see two chromatids held by one centromere. Now, we count the number of chromosomes based on the number of centromeres. So now, since these two chromosomes are not connected and we can see two centromeres, we can say that we have two chromosomes. Now, just to revise, we can say that small a and small b are sister chromatids. We can say small c and small d are also sister chromatids. But we can say that capital A and capital B are homologous chromosomes. Now, homologous chromosomes, what we, what we know is two chromatids held by a centromere formed one chromosome. Now, that chromosome has genes over it. Now, suppose this chromosome has the gene for skin color somewhere here. And this chromosome also has the same gene for skin color at the same position here. Similar, similarly, all the genes will be placed on the two chromosomes at the same places. That is why we call them homologous chromosomes. Now, these homologous chromosomes undergo a phenomenon called as recombination, which happens in the patchetine phase. Now, this patchetine occurs in meiosis only. Now, this is an example of uh, patchetine where the two homologous chromosomes are undergoing recombination. They exchange those genes there. Now, here we can see there are two chromosomes. So, there are two, uh, two centromeres we can see. That is why there are two chromosomes. Now, first of all, here we can see two chromatids. That is why I called it a dyad. And we can see one centromere. That is why we can say it is monovalent. Here also two chromatids, so dyad, one centromere, so monovalent. But that is not the case here. Here we can see there are four chromatids. So we call it tetrad. And since we can see two centromeres, we call it a bivalent. So this is the concept. I hope it is clear what is a dyad, what is a tetrad, what is a monovalent and what is a divalent, bivalent. And near the centromere, we have a protein which is called as kinetochore. Now, what is the function of the kinetochore? Kinetochore just helps in the separation of the two sister chromatids during anaphase. We all know that in anaphase, the two sister chromatids move to the opposite poles of the cell. This happens because of the spindle fibers get attached to the kinetochore and separate the two sister chromatids. So this was all about the basics of chromosomes and we will be discussing mitosis and meiosis in detail in the next video.